the Justice Podcast with your hosts, Damber Wagner and Jacob Willis. Been a minute, but welcome back. We are on episode 23. It's your girl, Just Living Baby. And your boy, Jacob Willis, and you tune into the Just Us Podcast. Podcast. Wow. It has been a month, but we're here. Mm-hmm. Didn't plan on being here. Right, but glad you showed up. Mm. Right. How are you? Um, I'm just living, you know? Just like the name. That's it. Okay, period. Mm-hmm. What about you? I'm existing. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been pretty rough. It's been extremely rough, yeah. but we're here. And I yeah. think today's a mental health moment. Because you guys know every episode we start off with the mental health moment um, is how to push through um, when you have a falling out in a friendship, how you have to still remain and show up, especially when you have a business together, how to, you know, just coexist in a space when you're both not in a, you know, healthy position and how to talk it out. Because, you know, a lot of people go through things with friends and um, it's kind of private, but ours, you know, people know, like, why haven't they been filming a podcast? Mm-hmm. What are you going to find out today? So, mm-hmm. you know, ladies first. I'm a gentleman, so I'm going to let Amber talk about why we haven't been filming and, you know, why our friendship is where it is. Okay, well, here we go. So, I just feel like, um, oh, man, I don't even know how to start. Uh, I just feel like um, True Colors came out. You know, I feel like True Colors came out, and I feel like... um. It was an unfair situation, you know? Do you want me to explain the situation? Yeah. Okay, so we were out, and we met at Third Base. If you're in Hollywood, you know about Third Base. It's a great little bar, fun, good vibes. We went to Third Base, okay? Um, It's me, this guy I was talking to, and my brother, and it's Jacob and his guy sister, his friends, and everybody. We're just out there vibing, having a good time. I see the dude I was talking to and his guy sister having a conversation, you know, and and behind us. So I'm like, okay, you know. I asked Jacob, like, is she trying to flirt with my boo? He's like, no, no, you know, she like white men. You ain't got to worry about that. It's nothing, no. So I'm like, okay, cool. He come back. I said, oh, but she was flirting. And he was like, you want to know the truth? And I said, yeah. He said, no, she was on me. And I'm like, mm. I'm like, okay, whatever. We're going to the next spot. We're going to smoke hookah, whatever, whatever. We get to the next spot. Now, me and him are sitting down. We're at Secret Hookah now. We're still on Hollywood. Well, now we're on Hollywood Boulevard. It's a table right here. I'm right here. He's in front of me. She walks up, comes to him, bends down with these fake breasts, kisses him on his cheek like that looks me in my eye and says, girl, he had his hand on my butt all night. As if that was just what we do. Or as if that was okay. And I just couldn't rock with that. But first of all, it was a lie because it wasn't all night. Because sometimes he was over here with us. Sometimes he was over there with Lonzo. So it wasn't all night in the first place. You know? So after that was said, I had an attitude. You know, I didn't trip how I could have tripped. But it was, it was, I was fired up. And I felt like Jacob and everybody else that was there was only on her side, talking to me as if I'm crazy. And I'm just the one that sat there and received the information. That hurt me. It was embarrassing. It was hurtful. Um, It just wasn't right to me. I didn't like it. And I'm like, I don't have to be around people like that. Nobody came to make sure that I was okay. It was all on her. I don't know if because it was her birthday or what. I don't give a fuck. That was fucked up. And so that's why I distanced myself and didn't plan on coming back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, she said her piece. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I definitely validate your feelings. But this is how my perspective of how mm-hmm. it went. It went similar to that, but it was a little bit different because you didn't tell the whole story. Mm. When we got there, he was talking to other girls first. And then you told right. me, you said, look at him over there talking to the bitches. But you mm-hmm. said, I'm not worried about that. I ain't my man. I'll talk to some guys myself. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what you said. Right. So, you know, I know, and you guys don't know who she is, and you barely know her, but right. my god sister, she only, she's been in a relationship for a long time with just a white man. She doesn't talk to, like, guys. When she goes out, she's very just reserved. She's just chilling. Mind you, it is her birthday, and this whole thing, I'm not making excuses for anybody's mm-hmm, actions. Mm-hmm. So when you asked him what they were talking about, he said that it wasn't like that is what he said. He said that to me and you because I was right next to you when you— It wasn't like that. No, when you asked him what they were talking about mm-hmm. and you said, was she flirting with you? He was like, no, like we're just having a, a casual conversation. No, I said, was, was she the flirting second... with her? And he's like, you want to know the truth? She was on me. Right, but that wasn't until the second time you asked him because the first time he was like, no, we're just having a casual conversation. 
Okay, well, maybe the times have changed. Right. Well, that's what okay. he said, which is fine. Right. Um, and so I wasn't paying attention to their conversation. Mm -hmm. And I told you that she likes white men because she do. I, you know, I would, I know her and I would never expect her to even flirt with him. This is where things could have been different. On the way there, we just had normal, like, you know, music in the car. We're just playing vibing. When we showed up to the place um, and we walked to your table, I can already tell your vibe was already off a little bit. I didn't know what was wrong with you, but you looked already irritated. And, mm -hmm. you know, at the table that you're at, there's only four chairs, so we we're mm -hmm. going to go sit somewhere else. Right. When she went behind him and did, did all that extra, I immediately thought in my head, like, oh, Lord, like, this is just, this is just, like, totally against what I just told Amber because I told you that she doesn't like black men. Right. So... I think the part where I got most irritated is because it's like, even though you don't claim him as your boyfriend, mm -hmm. it's like, I didn't expect you to even really, well, actually, I did expect you to care when that happened. But when you told me, like, Jacob, why the fuck would she even say that? Because when she, that she, she was wrong for saying that. And I looked at her and I said, why would you say that? And then I looked at him and I said, why would you even do that? You already know how Amber is. So my thing is, and I, the reason why I got so upset, but you was like, if I would have beat her ass, that's no, fine. No, for real, because I was going, uh, man, it could have really got cracked. Right, yeah, for the both of you. Right. Right. I, I don't, please. Right. I'm not worried. Yeah. So I was just like, okay. It doesn't even have to... Why is it even escalating to that? But I understand why you're upset because that was disrespectful to do that. But this is where I could have... This is what I could have changed as a friend. I could have told her in the car. Or, matter of fact, when you pointed out, like, Jacob, are they flirting? I should have just got up and right there in that second yeah. and just nipped that in the butt and be like, you know... Because I didn't tell her. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect her to even be talking to him. But I should have went up to her and said, mm -hmm. you know, that's Amber's boo. Don't even give him no, you know, no mind. Mm -hmm. I should have done that. I should have nipped it in the butt instead of just dragging it along because I didn't know that it was going to get worse by the end of the night. Mm -hmm. I promise you if I can go back and change that, I would have nipped it in the butt. And I thought about that. I was like, I should have mm -hmm. just really changed it. Because I could tell vibes and they right. were too close. Yes. You know, that's already how he is. I know how he is now. Right. He's going to flirt. He's going to do whatever. That's right. just him. But I could tell. That's why I said something to you like, ah. Yeah. I just wish I would have nipped it in a buck, and I didn't. I, and I'm really sorry that I didn't do that. And then after that, you text me the paragraph. Oh, well, you, you text sound me dumb first. As fuck no, because you you didn't tell them. You text me first. It wasn't disrespectful like that, though. A friend. You telling me you sound dumb as fuck, and you gonna let this nigga do this and because I'm this upset. And that, this da, da, da. is the guy that we're talking about. Go back to episode twelve. If you watch this podcast every week, you know on episode twelve when Amber was on a cruise, the same guy that plays in her face is the same guy right. that we're talking about. Okay, he, he but constantly it's somebody that I choose to deal. with. I know that, but so, friend, you can't get upset every time somebody first with him. Now this, you should have been upset for this. Right. You had a right to be. First of but all, I'm she's somebody that's around. I know that I can control. Right, them other hoes, I can't really control. But it's them, like every they don't know. Amber, every time we're out with this guy, he always plays in your face. It's not every time. Almost every time. It's not every time. Yeah, it's almost every time. He's, he he every doesn't time. respect you as a woman. So I was like, when you text me that, I was upset and I, you know, I did, you know, kind of talk to you crazy and I apologize because I was just so upset because when you text me, you said, oh, um, I don't want to film the podcast no more. I'm like, we, we've been filming this podcast for like, what, six months now? Mm -hmm. We we invested a lot of money into this podcast. This is a job. And I understand your feelings are hurt as a it's friend. It's disrespect. I don't do the disrespect. Okay, that's fine. You but, know you know, saying? you consider me a friend and as a friend why couldn't we just have talking and out because as a friend why didn't you tell me uh, at the table you like you need to be mad at yourself you need to be no, mad I at said him you need to be mad at him no, I didn't you say said be mad at yourself yes you did okay. you said both of those well, you need to be mad at yourself you need to be mad at him that's what you said okay. everybody was like you was on me and then everybody was worried about her nobody gave a fuck about me like oh okay she it's not that I don't give a fuck about you, Amber. Nobody it's, cares. It's not that I don't care about you, Amber, but this is the thing. If so. you if you know how this guy is and you bringing him around every time, and I'm not just talking about my friends, just in general, and he mm -hmm, disrespects mm -hmm, you every time, mm -hmm. you're choosing to it's not bring every him around. time, though. It's okay. been a few times. A, a few times. It's been a few times. Okay. That's it. But you know how he is. He flirts a lot with other girls. Okay. You know that. I understand. Okay, that. but you choose and you choose to be around that. So right, when I right. say be mad at yourself, somebody that's in why. the circle, though, when it's somebody that's right here and I can control it, I'm going to control it though. Okay. Period. No, I know. I can't control them hoes. But even, I can only control him. But when there's somebody within, I can control that. Right. And that's where I'm at with it. Okay. This is my thing, Amber. You know, I've been a very good friend to you, and you've been a very good friend to me. We've been friends for years, right? Mm -hmm. We just started getting close during the pandemic, and my mm -hmm. thing is, you know I would never purposely play in your face. Mm -hmm. I don't do that, and I know how you are, like, when, you, when you're when talking to a guy, you're very like, you know, this is my man. Like, I, even if it's not your man, you don't want nobody right. talking to And I understand that. We go out all the time, but my thing is, don't punish our viewers because you're mad at me. I know that, you know, people are getting into it at their work all the time, mm -hmm. and they still have to go and clock in. Mm -hmm. I understand that 
that, you know, we're not getting paid a lot of money yet for this podcast, right. but, you know, we can't not be inconsistent just because you're in your feelings. And I understand you have a right to be upset, yeah. but we got to still coexist because it's been a whole month. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and so I just felt... Longer. It was. Uh, well, well, listen, I just... Mm -hmm. This is my thing. I work very hard for this podcast. You know what I do behind the scenes. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying you don't do any work, but right. I do a lot of work. Right. So for me, I'm like, you know, I bust my ass and I'm like, why would you want to give this up off of this situation? Me and you have never had a falling out. Never. Right. We may have had a couple arguments. It take one time for me. I, I know, but, but, but you know what? That's fine. And I apologize to you, though. Right. My thing is, you don't have to do the disrespect, but it's disrespectful to just abandon the podcast. You know we have this together. Well, I posted on the gram, so they knew what was going and, on. Uh, what, I posted a whole video. They know. Oh, I know that. And I, right. I want to address this, too, because it hurt my feelings. How dare you? We're friends, and you're going to go on TikTok and post that video, and you didn't even tell the story about how we was playing with those other bitches and how he does that, all that the time. That doesn't have nothing to do with this. I talked matter. about the cruise. I talked about this. And talk about this situation. Right, but you made it seem like I, I purposely did that. And somebody... It was your God No, sister. but you you're acting like... control of that bitch. Okay, that's fine. Don't call her a bitch. Be respectful because I'm okay, respectful well, to you. Okay, well, I already said it. I'm not okay, saying it Okay, well, back. don't do that again. Be respectful. Okay, okay well, I don't even have to be sitting no. here right now. Amber, we gotta, we gotta work through this. I don't this. have to do a goddamn thing, Jacob, I'm real. not saying you don't have to, but we gotta push through as, like, as co-host. We have to we have to talk about this. I understand you're upset. <laughs> This is the thing that pissed me off about the TikTok. Uh -huh. It's somebody commenting, and, and you know, usually I don't even care because mm -hmm. you you unfollowed me and you made me unfollow you, and that's fine. Right. Um, but when you posted that on TikTok, and somebody commented and they said he they were probably plotting on you the whole way in the car. That's was, what I thought too. No. Yep. And then mm -hmm. you commented back mm -hmm. and you said, yeah, I'd be the ones that be closest to mm -hmm. you. Now, you know me as a friend. You know me for years. You know I would never purposely the, the do way something she, like no, that. The way that bitch, excuse me, the way uh, she went up to him, um, it seemed like y'all was in the car conversing about some shit because I know she asked about him. If, if, if that happened, Amber, I know she had I to ask about you, him. When we left third base, Come she, on, man. listen to me. I would not lie to y'all. I would just tell it like it is. You know I'm going to tell it like it is. I'd be like, you know what, friend? You're I right. don't know anymore. I don't okay, know. Well, uh, well, you should know because I've been friends with you for years. So you know, I would never purposely disrespect you. Mm. I know how you are when it comes to him. So I wouldn't ever uh, plot that. I know you would you would have got upset for doing that. Why would I do that? Mm. I didn't even discuss him furthermore when we left. I just saw you there. Mm -hmm. So when she did all that extra, I knew that like, oh Lord, here it comes. I didn't plot against you, none of that. It really did hurt me because I had to sit down and read all those comments. And I'm like, damn, we could have just talked it out. Like, why do you got to go? We're friends. So why are you on social media? I am. I am social media. That's I, what I do. That's fine. But I you use my situation to put on social media. You don't know who else could be going through the same Okay, thing. but why can't you talk years. it out with your friend? I didn't want to talk to you. So I you like didn't you care about the friend. friendship. I, you, you see, I didn't. I blocked you and everything. Oh, okay. And that's fine. But all these years, you're going to just go away? Yes, I don't do that. For that one situation? Yes, for that situation. That's, that's, crazy. that's how I am. And I'm sure there's others out there, too. Yes, that's how I am. Okay, so... It's you, not about the, uh, the uh, what is it? The quantity? The, the quantity. It's not about that. I don't give a fuck how long. You see how long I was friends with Tracy and, and that, that happened. You feel okay, me? Okay, so, but it happened. Okay, let's not talk about the Tracy situation. No, I'm just you saying. You know why that cut off. Yeah, on. that was my fault, right. though. But still. Right. So, what about forgiveness and moving on? I mean, I can forgive you. I don't have to move on. We don't have to be necessarily friends, but at the end right. of the day, this is my question for you. And I'm sure the viewers probably want to know, is it every time we get in an argument or disagreement, are you going to not want to film the podcast? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Because we can't do that as a business. We have to be consistent with this. Well, I guess I got to pray on it because right, right now, that's what that's where I'm at. Every and, time. and that's fine. And I listen, I already planned this whole, like when I came here to talk to you, mm -hmm. I do want to, and you don't have to like me anymore and I really mm -hmm. don't care, but I do want to pray together before we end this I podcast. I think so because I feel like it'll be fake. It's I'm, not going to be fake. I need to pray within myself. Okay, well, you pray within yourself and mm -hmm. I'm going to pray too because I feel like you're still hurt about the situation and that's fine. Yeah. But I want to offer you this an apology and you don't have to take it or not. I genuinely do apologize apologize because I, you felt betrayed as a friend and you felt hurt. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wish I could have gone back and nipped that in the butt. The situation, I do right. apologize for the way I came at you in the text messages. Mm -hmm. I was very upset and heated in the moment. Um, and I wish that I would have worded things differently. The only reason why I got so upset is just because you drove the, the podcast in. It's like, why would you even bring the podcast in? Business and friendship is totally different. But I know you mix it too. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. This is a business. Mm -hmm. And I'm just... Um, I just want to say I'm sorry. I really am. I really am. I wish that that night would have never happened for real. I really I do, do wish it never happened for sure. Um, it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And I hope that we can push uh, past this. And I know how you are with friendships. Once you're done, you're done. Or mm -hmm. if you guys become friends, um, if we ever become friends again, that will be great. But I do want to coexist with you in rooms, make money with you, and grow with you. Because I, I genuinely do have love for you. I really do. Mm -hmm. And we started this together just to be throwing it away. And I feel like this podcast was hunting me, you guys. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. Every time I went out, 
Not only were people coming to me talking about the podcast or, or, or and, and saying, where's Amber? Or I love the podcast. And when are you guys filming again? But you know the song that I, I sent you, the our logo song, the It's Just Us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I swear to God, yeah. Amber, I can show you my phone. I have 12 different videos. Since that happened, mm-hmm. every Uber I got into had that song playing. Shut I would walk up. into restaurants and I, I recorded every last one. I would send it to my friends. I'm like, oh my God, you guys, this is everywhere I, to work. Anywhere I went, that song played. This podcast haunted me. Mm. I don't think you understand. I had multiple dreams of me and you talking and arguing, and then I had dreams of us like hashing it out. I this it's just been so heavy on my mind. My anxiety's been through the roof. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and it's not just about the podcast, but just our friendship too. It's hard mm-hmm. when you really like been around me. And you hung out every single week, not just right. on a podcast. We're friends in real mm-hmm. life. Right. So of course, you know, I miss my friend, and mm-hmm. I you know sad about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's just, you know, that's my piece. That's just my piece. I'm sorry. And, I mean, I don't know what else to do. No, it's nothing else you can do. I forgive you. And uh, I apologize if you feel like I um, neglected the podcast or, you know, ignored you and you know, did all that bullshit. I apologize. And then uh, you made your mama follow me, too. You know, I love this Juanita. And that's fine. She's still cordial and she's still sweet to me. But mm-hmm. I'm just like, damn. But this is where we at, y'all. This is why we have a film. Um and I'm glad that you showed up today. Yes, I did. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Yes, I am. Right. So I know you don't want to hug or pray, but can we shake it off? We can. Oh, my God. Definitely. Thank you. Definitely. So yes. now that we got that out the way, um, mm-hmm. I did talk to you a little bit briefly. You know, I just want to do a catch up because they probably mm-hmm. want to know what's been going on with us. Mm-hmm. You did tell me that you enrolled into bartending school. Yes, I did. I would love to know about that and what made you do it and how's it going? Yes, so bartending school. I was only a two week course. I'm finished with that already. It was a good time. Um, it just teaches you the basics. It gets you ready for being in the bar scene. Like, um, and you get to know like everything that's that the people are actually using being bartenders. You know that now. So I know like the shaker is called a Boston. The part that goes on top is called a Hearthorn. I know the part the little silver thing that they put a shot in it's called a jigger like I know how many ounces to pour like it's so cool so now when they're making my drinks I'm like um excuse me uh, you know I, but yeah. it was a great experience um I have to take my online test after that I'll be certified out here shaking it up period yeah that was good just something to do you know I'll be having some um downtime and idle time so I just want to do something and I always want to like just get into that and because I like to drink I'm alcoholic not really but a little bit you did mention to me in the past that you were going to that you wanted to do bartending yeah. and you actually went to school for it. and of course you remember the Hawthorne, honey Right, come on now, yeah. So, so do you know how to make cocktails? I do, quite a few, not too many. How about that lemon drop martini? Lemon, you know for sure, with the tahim and Child, everything. Child, that's her favorite drink. Yes, lemon martini. Okay, period, yeah. lemon drop martini. Mm, what's been up with you? Um, I booked a new show. Okay. Um, it, It's just, it's like, you know, MTV stuff. Okay, you don't put it down. Right, yeah. right. So I'm I'm excited about that. I've just been in meetings with them. Um, and I just, that's it. And honestly, okay. I just joined the gym. I have not been yet. All right. But you've been in the gym. Um, yes. And so I got to get on mine too. Come on. I want to be on this journey. I got to be looking good. Yeah, and that's how I feel too. And it's not even about so much of just showing all how slim you can get, but I feel better. I go every morning. I make sure I get up even when I don't feel like it. Um, it's great. I have more energy. I'm um, not lacking. And then it's people rooting for me on the gram because I post every day when I'm in there. So they see me. That's encouraging. Even though you don't look for validation, but it makes you feel good. You are dropping weight. I'm trying I a little bit. I can see it bit. in the legs, Just too. Just a little bit, you know? So I appreciate that. That's good. Yeah. So did you gra- you graduate it? From the school? Yes. Well, I got a little certificate. Okay, know. certificate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Well, thanks. Yeah. That is a blessing. Mm, I've been listen. trying to get a little snatch. You know, I've been eating a little bit, but I'm like, you know, I got to get this together. Well, you still look good. I don't look like you blew the fuck up. Thank you. But you do have on black, so. Okay. No, I'll just like. <laughs> um... I was looking online and there's something I wanted to talk about. Mm-hmm. You heard about the girl and her name is, because I have it right here. I'm the sure. one that's live. Who? The one that lied? Yes. I knew he was going to talk about it. Uh-huh. Miss <laughs> Carly Russell. Mm-hmm. You heard about Carly Russell? I did. I did. She staged her kidnapping. Yeah. And she's now charged with two misdemeanors. Child, look at this picture of her mugshot. I've never seen somebody smile so hard in a mugshot. Right. Did she say what the reason was for all of this? No, they blame it on mental mental uh, illness, or they said um, mental health. You can't uh, mental health ain't always gonna be an excuse for stuff yeah, like for that. Yeah, for every they try to throw that out for everything. Now, I know for some things, okay, but come on now, right? 
like our situation, mental health. Right. So, <laughs> this is not no mental health. But when I read about this, I at first when for they said that she staged it. When uh -huh. they're talking about the kidnapping, I was like, I literally was praying. I was like, I was Lord, sad. I pray that they mm -hmm. find her. Everybody was. Right. I'm out here. I'm like, it's so hard for women. It's so hard for black women. They they found her wig there and all this and that. And now they're like, fuck this hoe. Right, right, right. They got the memes. You see the memes? No. They got memes up with her talking about, oh, when I feel like uh, disappearing on a nigga, I'm going to just... And it's a picture of her like... Oh? Yes, yes. I cannot believe that. They clowning. They are clowning. But you know what? She should have got locked up for that because people were really... I mean, that is... Yeah. False I, advertisement. Wasn't it a GoFundMe? There was a GoFundMe. And I'm sure she got... Hopefully she used that for her bell. Something. Or the commissary. Right. Yeah. There's something else I saw, too, mm, that I wanted to talk about on the neighborhood. Wait. I don't know where... We're, oh, Sydney Star. Okay, so, you know, everything that's going on with the, you know, the trans community, mm. um, you know, just hilarious and all the other trans women. Um, you saw that Sydney Star, I mean, Chingy, um, refuses to call Sydney Star a woman after she lied about being with him and, uh, you know, cost him his career. Right. He just did an interview with Vlad TV, mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I got my speaker fixed so I can play what he said. Ooh. Cancel culture because long before they were, it was called cancel culture, you got the bottom in a scandal that damn near had nothing to do with you. Nobody really turned them down for doing that, for, for lying on people and causing those problems. Cancel that culture too, then. Sydney Star. So she went on and posted a video of her. With her, with his song on, and said, Ooh, mm -hmm. "It's messy." And she, posted song, and she said, uh, "Since y'all won't leave me the fuck alone," she said, um, "Oh, she said I got some money for you, baby. Come over here, since I ruined your career. This is the thing." And Sydney Star, you know. She's an attention whore, right? Okay. She does a lot of things for attention. Okay. Uh, my thing is with the, everything that's going on with the trans and you know the community against you know the bloodline of girls, the back right, and forth, all right. of that's going on. This is not the time to be doing that. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. Like, and I don't understand like people that date people for like the clout. I get it, but it's like why out even I don't know their whole situation, but some <laughs> trans women purposely out men. Right? Yeah. It's like, what is the point of doing that though? Right. Because if, I mean, if you already with the, the prize, when you want to keep that on you a low? Keep it and keep more coming. Right. Right. But you, instead, they want to be like, oh, I've been uh, able to do this. And then ruin everything. Ruin everything. Why would somebody else want to talk to you knowing what you're going to do? Right. People say good cloud and bad cloud. Uh, babe, why would you even choose the bad cloud? Exactly. Not all cloud is good for cloud, right. Sydney. But I have a question for you. Okay. So he said he didn't want to call her a woman. Do you call trans women? Women, women. women yes. Do you? Yes, I do. Mm. Um, especially if they identify as a woman. Anybody that identifies as a woman, uh -huh. I call them a woman. Or okay. I mean, now, I told you, the, the they, them, all of that. It's That's been a, very hard for me right, to do. Right, right. Because I got in trouble for not calling somebody a they mm -hmm, or them. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and also, I worked with a trans girl. Remember, I told you, but they didn't, you know, they didn't wear makeup or they still looked very masculine. I, I didn't know. I thought it was just a, a gay man. Uh-huh, uh -huh. um, And so when I said, he would be right with you, and then she was like, she... You know, mm. so I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. So I do, you know, respect it only because, you know, if you uh, trans women are women, I understand that you, they can't get pregnant. They don't have the menstrual cycle. The menstrual, right, But, right. I mean, they still bad bitches. They still, they still women, you know, they carry themselves like a woman. Not everybody, mm -hmm. but, you know, mm -hmm. for the most part. What about you? Yeah, I just go with the flow. Hey, who am I? <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh, please. She said, you had a gas for that. Yeah, I mean, said, uh, I have to rethink really about it because I'm like, uh, but if you identify as a woman, I'm not going to call you a man because I think that's freaking rude. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'll just go with the flow. It's cool with me. Okay, we'll be yeah. mm -hmm. well, I know what I am. So. Well, hello, and I know who I am. So and, and there better, it is, yeah. You better wake up in, in the morning and know who you are right. before you start your day. Come on. Um, but I want to talk about one more topic, and then I don't know if you have any topics. Do you got some topics? Uh, I put um, something on Instagram for people to tap in. I got a few little... Okay. Nothing too major. Don't forget your topic, though. Ah, I didn't forget. And okay. I see our phone cases are mighty similar. Uh, hmm. Wow. Wow. What a quinky dink. Yeah, I remember on the last one, the last podcast, you had noticed mine. So Amazon? Be like I did, but I got mine from Shen. Uh, cheaper. It was. Okay. 92 <laughs> 13 because I got it. We know. Okay, what happened that made you guys stop? We talked about that. Discuss why you left. We talked about that. Finding your voice and sharing it. 
That's what somebody wants to talk about. Dealing with ups and downs of life. How do you cope? Oh, this is a good one. If you have sex on the first date, does it make you a hoe? That's a good one. That is a good one. Let's elaborate on that real quick. Okay. Sex on the first date, does it make you a hoe? No, it makes you a horny mother sucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, please. You think it makes you a hoe? No. Um, this is the thing. It just depends on the vibe. Right, right. If we right. go on a nice day, I mean, when a man feeds me, I'm already horny. <laughs> right? <laughs> if I see, you know, there's certain things that a man that, if the vibe is really good, mm -hmm. I am, you know, going to be, I get horny quick. I ain't going to hold you. Okay. A man could hug me, grip me tight enough, and I'm just, I'm and hard just as a starts... rock. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yikes. But um, I don't mind kissing on the first date. Me neither. Yeah. yeah. I used to be like, I don't mind having sex on the first date, mm -hmm. but now I'm kind of like, um, As you get older, the yeah, I'm like, I, want, I don't want you to have sex with me. Be like, okay, we're done now. Mm -hmm. I already got what I wanted. I want to know that you like me for me exactly. and that you want to see me again. And that is a genuine vibe. Yeah. Yeah, so see, I ain't never had no day, but I have met people out. And, you know, I've had fun on the first time. And after that, it never really goes further. That's it? That's it. It never goes further. Like, okay, we have fun. Bye. Maybe it's just the man, though. There's yeah. Oh, not often. Not often, but I'm just right. saying, yeah. Like, this is back in the day. I haven't done it in years. Right. But, yeah. So, are you ready to start going on dates now? Uh, I am really 100% single down, no ties to nothing, don't attach my name to nobody, like, fully single. Um, I can't say I'm ready right now, though. I just want to go out and have fun and maybe have a companion to hang out with. Yeah. But, like, that's it. Let's just keep it cool. Well, you've been focused. You you know, you've done your school that you wanted to do. Right. And you also, you know, been losing weight. You've been in the gym I'm working to, that's out. That's what I'm really wor worried about right now. Right. And you yeah. got, you know, you got your other things you're doing, too. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. I know that you don't want, like, that distraction, especially when things right. are starting to climb, honey. Exactly. Looking for a new freaking shop. Been doing that lately. That's hard. Trying to find one within the budget. You know, your right. girl ain't rich, so it's just, it's a lot. She ain't broke either now. Right, but now. you know. <laughs> right. Trying to money manage. Right, that's yeah, good. You are so. good with money managing. I can't say mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. But Honey. you know, I was having a little bit too much fun, getting okay. distracted, so I had to slow, slow it down. down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what area? Well, you can't say the area, but are you, well, do you no. want your shop to be in the same area that it was? Um, I wouldn't mind Carson. I was looking in a uh, Gardena. Uh, I did look in Long Beach. I even looked at PCH, and I was going to get one in San Pedro, but nobody's going to drive out the way to San Pedro. That's a little far. It is definitely far. Why not Hollywood? Uh, okay, well, I'm going to put a GoFundMe down below, and if you want me in Hollywood. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Hollywood, because it has so much traction. I'm not saying that people won't drive. Right. They drove down for you when you had it in Carson. But, but I'm Carson just... is common for my kind of people. See, I do oh, LA right. and stuff. LA to, uh, to Carson, that's a good third, no, 15 to 20. Right. Hollywood? I know, as far as... Right, but, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's good. I mean, you got all the black girls that be coming and they need new units. Come so, on now. Yeah. Yeah. That works out. Yeah. Um, but what was my topic? Oh, I saw um, I saw a video, uh -huh. um, and I can't I couldn't find a video, so I didn't uh, bring it up. Okay. But basically, it was a whole bunch of friends that were at, I think, a birthday dinner. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the bill came. And she wanted everybody to pay. She wanted everybody to pay, like for um, and not just for what they got, but she she wanted them to pay the portion. Yeah, like mm -hmm. they wanted to split it all in half. Mm -hmm. And people were like, "Why well, only order the salad? I order the drink? I I'm not doing that." They was furious. Right. So when you go to a dinner, a uh, birthday dinner with your friends, would you want to pay for just what you got, or would you be upset if um, everybody had to split it down the middle? So that actually happened before. Um, I think I was at the district. Shout out to the district. I think I was at the district and um, the bill came and everybody had to like, you know how they do the little math. It's like, okay, you do 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. I don't give a fuck. You just ordered a soda. Hey, you sitting at this table, pay it. Right. I'm going to pay it. Right. Well, you know what I'm saying? You got it. So it's easier. I'm going to pay but, it. I mean, so you, you're okay with that? I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that too. But there was a time that I was really like upset because I mm. didn't even know the person. Mm. Um, and it was last minute. They're like, oh, just come along with me. It's my friend, my friend. And the friend was like, oh, yeah, bring him. So I came and I mean, the filet mignon. Ooh. Not this time. I didn't have money like that. Right, right, right. And I think everybody had to split like 250 like down the middle. And literally, I, I didn't even eat. I just had drinks because we okay. had eight before we got right. there. Okay, so that's a problem then. Right, I'm not I'm not paying $250 for this right. girl. I don't even know. Right. And I didn't. 
Okay. They had yeah. to figure it out. Yeah. Um, but now I'm like, I mentally prepare if I go mm-hmm. to a birthday dinner, like, okay, just prepare to pay for it or just, you know. Or I, mean? I tell the people before I walk in, now I go to the little waitress, waiter, excuse me, mine's a separate please. Right. Here you gotta let them Or out. I gotta go to the bar and order and pay for mine. Yeah. Here, I'm not getting caught up in no trick like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't really care for birthday dinners, but I always say, you know what, if I ever have another birthday dinner, I'm just gonna pay the whole bill. Because right. I don't like, that'd you know, be better, yeah. Because you know, yeah. you wanna invite friends and then sometimes they be like, oh, I can't make it. You know, they make up all these excuses, mm-hmm. but it's because they really don't have the Exactly. My the last birthday dinner, I think I had about eight people there. You know I know more than eight people. It was about like eight people came. We had a blast. Don't get it twisted. But it's like, it was at a high-end restaurant, so I've kind of figured. Right. But if it was at Chili's, we would have packed that whole down. Wait. Right. Chili's you know? for everybody. Especially exactly. if they had some hookah in there. Because right. <laughs> you know I love me some hookah. Right. Have right. you been smoking hookah? You know I've been smoking hookah. Okay, okay. It smokes. I did tag you in that story, and I said it's not. Oh, you sure did. Yes. You did. It, her reply was, nothing ain't the same without me. Duh. It was a jokey joke. I know, we know, but you're yeah. serious, serious. Have you been smoking? Um, here and there. Yeah. Yeah, not too much. You haven't been a big, big smoking? No, I don't even go out no more to the weekends. Only drink on the weekends. Right. Um, that reminds me of our hookah people that, you know, the hookah spot that we've gone uh, to. Oh, I've been seeing them a lot. So the I two saw, guys? Mm-hmm. I've been seeing them a lot. I saw them at an event uh, a couple weeks ago. Okay. Uh, Monday Night Vibes. And they're like, oh, we was just with Amber at, um, I don't know what the event that was. The Air Cornbread. Bi- the Cornbread. Uh-huh. They was like, but the, the guy was like, but I didn't ask about you because, you know, I hate with... <clears throat> he was like, I know you guys have a podcast together, but it's probably annoying when, like, when you guys are not together. And people are like, oh, well, where's Jacob uh-huh, or where's Amber? Uh-huh. He's like, I separate people. I'm like, yeah, thank you for separate. Uh-huh. I said because I, I, I wish I almost went to the cornbread thing, but yeah. I'm like, I'm, it was um, a guy that was there that did ask me about you. He said, uh, where's your buddy? I said, who you talking about? He said, Jacob. I said, oh, I don't know. Oh wow, that's what you said? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Where I'm you proud of you. Wow, I thought I know you. I thought you'd be like, I don't fuck with him. No, 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 that's kind of crazy. I know. I'm like, yeah. okay, wow, like mm-hmm. hatred. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what else you got? Okay, let's see. Somebody put open marriages. We never been married, so we can't touch on that. No. Okay. Um, what else? Domestic violence, single mothers, how to start a business. I feel like we talked about. Uh, did we get in depth on how to start a business? I think we need to talk about, we need to d- tap into business. Well, but you're have... my first friend I've ever done business, like business with, though. Mm-hmm. I mean. But you start your own business, though. Remember? You were selling your frame. Right. No, but I mean, I've had a business. You had a business. Right. But what was the question? How to start a business. Oh, okay. Just in general. Right. But I feel like we should save that for an entrepreneur episode and have some Somebody entrepreneurs. come on and talk right, about that. Right. One male, one female, talk about their businesses and everything. So if you know some entrepreneurs that are in Los Angeles and you would like to see on the podcast, please tag them. Send them this clip. Do something. Okay. We need them. Come on through. We want them. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but we're always looking for people, interesting people to be on the podcast. Interesting. Right. Okay. And while we weren't um, filming, a lot of people, even when I was out, they talk about it and they want to come on a podcast. It's so many that we can get on here. People were talking about the podcast a lot, huh? Yeah, no, seriously. Uh huh. And they would say, I'm so proud of you and all this and that. I just like, <laughs> man, Amber, I would say this has been the hardest for me. I'm serious. Because of the dramatics. He's putting no, on I a am, show for you no, all. I, I hope promise. you enjoyed it. I all my fr- enjoyed it. All my friends know. Like, seriously, no. Your friends are, <laughs> I do not want to be around. They are not my friends. For sure. Okay, and your friends are not mine, but that's okay. That's why not everybody's friends friend. But come on, let's not be negative. Let's get into what I'm talking. So every time somebody would come up to me and talk about the podcast, I had a, I, you know, I would just smile. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. But inside I was so like miserable. I'm like, I don't even know where we are right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't even know if this podcast is gonna continue. So I was like, you know, I'm like, thank you, you know. But and then I'll be like, oh God, like Oh, Jacob, oh, please God. hear me. My podcast. <laughs> I was just so <laughs> devastated. This was really devastating and I an eye opener. This really, if you ever have a situation with a friend, mm-hmm. you guys have a podcast, a business, a store, get into something like this. Let mm-hmm. something like this happen because it could rather make you or break you. Right. Whether this situation that just happened is gonna bring us closer than ever or it's gonna just kind of make it really weird, like going forward. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just how we make what make of it. But you also learn from your mistakes and things that you could have done differently. Fact. You don't make the same mistake twice, baby. And if you do, then that just shows a lot. It's of a them. choice. It's, it's a, a choice. choice at that point. Yes. Right. Yes. You gotta choose to do better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. But yeah. 
that's where we stand. But I mean, oh, let me catch y'all up on what I've been doing now. A little bit. Yeah. Also, I just went to Sacramento. My uh, little sister just got married. Sarah got married. Congratulations. She is Mrs. Smith. So I flew over down to Sacramento. Okay. My mom, I got to see my nieces, my nephew. And it was quite interesting because my mom and dad are divorced. But mm-hmm. on the wedding day, they kind of matched. Like they both had sequence on. Oh, they was dancing together? They didn't dance together, but they both participated in the wedding. All and right. throughout the rehearsals. And my dad was helping my mom out. Like with her, you know, my mom, she loves to... She has a, her own business. She likes to decorate. She just decorate. Mm-hmm. She, she was just doing everything. Girl, I felt like I clocked into work. My mom had Shut me over up. there working. Yes. Okay. But congratulations to my sister for getting married. It really made me feel like I'm ready, you know, for my man. Mommy and mommy and mommy and mommy. Right. And but I'm like, I got to I gotta go find somebody to go on a date with first. There's steps yeah. to Yeah. And you know what? I feel like for me moving forward, um, I need somebody that's going to do for me. I would love for somebody to do for me. I want to be taken on dates. It don't have to be expensive. I love Fridays. I like regular stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's start small. But I want to be taken out. I want to have flowers, not only when you mess up, but just flowers awesome just because I want to receive good morning texts. I, I want that. Right. You know? And you deserve that. Yeah. I feel like you, when you're dating, well, well, I ain't going to say dating because I never, I've only known you with your, you know, ex. Uh-huh. ex. I've never seen you, like, you know, in a relationship. But, like, mm-hmm. when you, like, talk to guys, I know the efforts that you put in, the extra right. miles, the uh-huh. thoughtfulness. Mm-hmm. So it, I can't wait until you meet a man that can yes. meet you halfway or even do more and really right. treat you like a queen because you haven't had a man yes. do that yet. Right. But I feel like as soon as that happens, you ain't going to know how to act. For real, going to just be glowing and flowing and showing. And we yes. are wait. Hello. Yeah. So <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this episode was it was needed. No, seriously. I know you did not want to come here today. And... I did. When I walked in, I was like a piece of ice just froze up, stuck. Like, Lord, here we go. Ugh, y'all, she came in. I called you. You came in late, and I thought she wasn't going to show up. I couldn't text her because I'm blocked. It was only five minutes late. I know, but late is late. I still, my anxiety was scared because I thought you weren't going to come in. So I paid and wasn't going to come. Friend, I thought you were not going to come here. Mm. Oh, should I call you associate? I know you don't want me to say the F word yet. Uh, my associate. Uh, <laughs> she, I, I really was not. I was like, and he was just sitting there, a wonderful engineer, and he was just sitting there with his headphones and just chilling. And the whole time I'm on Instagram scrolling, I'm like, and I'm praying. I'm like, maybe she fell asleep. Maybe she's not coming. And I, I don't know. I thought you. No, gonna... I see. I had okay. You know, I got up. I forgot I had to get gas. That's what took some time. Right. You know, I'm gonna come all the way from Carson, but that's what took some time. I was just five minutes late. They didn't make it seem like I came twenty minutes late. No, it was only five minutes. I was here. Okay. But I'm, I even parked in the red to get up here fast, okay? Hopefully my car is still there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, talk about it. Thank you. I will, but I'm glad you came, and I'm glad we had this conversation. I, you yeah. know, I really am. I, we needed to have this conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. No, yeah. Yeah, I feel a little lighter. <sighs> right? The, the intenseness when we walked in here. Mm-hmm. It was very intense. Right. You, you, should, you was breathing hard. I was in my head. I was like, oh, my God. I had to pray before I came. I said, Lord Jesus, I pray. Oh, I prayed in the car. That's crazy. I sure did. I prayed in the car. I said, you know what? They say prayer blocks a lot of things, Lord. Just get me right. Get me ready for this. Amen. I was so... I, I, I did not know. And it's crazy. I did something kind of crazy. Okay, so on TikTok, you know how like uh-huh. people do the readings. And you know, y'all know I come from Christian house. <laughs> I was scrolling on TikTok. Uh-huh. I went to seven different psychics and asked them all the same question. Jacob, stop, man. Stop. I said, me and Amber were in the friendship? Yes. And then I asked, I said, will our podcast, um, will me and Amber's podcast do great? Every psychic said yes. And this girl said this. So I, sh- I showed you the email that we got. We're not going to announce yeah, that okay, yet. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, but I'm going to I'm gonna let you listen to what this psychic said about what I asked. And it's okay. crazy. Because okay. this is confirmation. Okay, let's hear it. Once you can fall in love again, reaching a turning point, Okay. Elisa, thank you for the follow, sweetie. Will me and Amber's podcast work out? It says yes. It's talking about just keep persevering with this. I'm seeing keep going, going, going. Be persistent with it. Things are going to be going really good. We're going to be getting a spike around like October-ish is what that's saying. Yes. At the front door. Yes. And in the email it said. Yes. Yeah. And another psychic, she, it, when she, and it was a thing that went like out and in. All those little things that be. This means yes, this means no. Uh huh. When I asked, it flew open, yes. And then she just started reading. And she was like, you guys are in a difficult position right now. You guys are going to have a lot of ups and downs. She said, you guys are going to be very successful. And she says, make sure you guys are patient with each other. She says, patience. Then she says, ooh, I see some financial blessings coming too. 
every psychic I asked said yes. I, okay, don't do that no more. Okay, though. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it no more. But I, it was just on my. So forgive me, Lord. Right. I know I should pray for you, but I can't. I, you know, I can't always hear you when I need you. Right now. Okay, I got still waiting on some answers. Lord, you know I love you, and I'm patient. I'm still. In, I'm still on hold. So I had to call. You know, yeah. I had to find, I needed some type of clarity because, you know, I was losing my mind for real. So I did. Wow. And seven different psychics. But this one right here, when she said October, I was like, that's no, that, crazy. No, that's that's for real right there. That's definitely like confirmation. Yeah. Okay. Well, guess you'll be seeing us week after week after week. We got to keep going, baby. Yes. Yeah. If you guys. Despite all adversities. And despite it. And again, I apologize, you know. That's no, okay. But I apologize as well. Before we end it, can we please pray? I'm going to do a prayer. Just close your eyes. Okay. And I, yes. Um, Father God, and to you guys that are not really religious, this part you can exit because I'm going to pray to my Lord and Savior, okay? Um, dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us together. I know that we had a rough patch, but thank you for allowing us to exist in this space and be able to talk it through. Um, and whatever is in your will, I pray that you will lead us in the right direction and help us to be patient with each other and help us to make the right decisions. And I feel like, Lord, that we have something really good going on. And I feel like a lot of people see that and they're praying on our downfall and they're, they're coming up with plots behind the scenes to destroy a friendship and destroy something right. that we have together. Um, and I pray that you will protect us and I pray that you'll just bless us moving forward to, you know, grow more than ever and just be successful. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Very I, nice. I, just, I wanted to, and you know, I, I needed that prayer. I, I did. I wanted to pray with you because I talked to my grandma about it. And she was like, Jacob, pray. She says, you go on, you look on, t and I talk about it. She's like, you want to TikTok everywhere else with answers. Did you pray? Pray about it. That's it's only going to go good because my anxiety, I'm like, I don't know. What if we just argue and we both leave? Like, how is this going to go? Yeah, I, for a minute, I was going to be like, okay, now. Well, do, when, during our little mental health moment, it, uh, you right. almost got no, up. No, for real. Right. So I'm like, okay. Right. You're like, okay, well, fuck you. Yeah. Right, so I'm I'm really glad that we got to talk this through. Same, and I already said that a hundred times, but I'm going to keep saying it because I am, you guys. This is, you know, going to continue. And to yes, everybody out there that prayed on our downfall and wants to see this podcast, and it's not going anywhere. Mm -mm, no. Tooth and nail. Right. I'm going to work on myself, too, and work on trying to hold on to these friendships. <laughs> no, seriously. It might have sound like I was bullshitted, but I'm serious. Right. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Don't let me go. I sure. made a mistake, but I am a good friend. Right, because I give niggas a million chances. A friend actor. I know. That's another thing. I was, I'm like, damn. And I but thought it's a, about it's a little different. But I thought about the, other friends too me. that you cut off and then came back. Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Hell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway. Um, but I think because me and you were so much more closer, this probably hurt you a lot more than Yeah, it did. I, I was like, wow, you're not a real friend. And it's been all these years and I'm just now seeing it. Wow, I'm disgusted. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. So are you gonna follow me back on Instagram now? Mm, probably next week. Okay. We'll do it on the next. Are you gonna unblock me so we can communicate, not via DM? Yeah, I could do that. Okay. I could do that immediately. Right. I was like, where you at? But I said she hasn't read my message yet. Um Oh wow, you're killing me, man. Right. <laughs> well, thank y'all for tuning in. I hope this podcast was everything for you this episode. And we're just being open and transparent. And that's all we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for taking our time to listen. I know mm -hmm. you guys have been asking where we are, but here we are. Um, and, you know, just look forward to the future, you guys. Talk things out with your, your friends. If you have a situation or anything, you got to keep it going, you know, and just make sure you're, you... You prioritize your your mental health, of course, and yourself, Absolutely. but also prioritize making the right decisions and friendships because you see what can happen, darling. Mm -hmm. All right? We love y'all, and we'll see you guys in episode 24. Until next time, darling.